Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp build video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build in a power pylon or a power line tower. I'm not sure what to call these actually. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, you know what I mean. So um, I you can do this in pretty much any of these probably. Um, I chose this particular one for its location. Um, I'll show you exactly where we are on the map, uh, right here next to um, Morgantown. And uh, just sort of like right at the top of this little peak here, just above Ingram Mansion. That's the one I'm using. And I picked this one for a few reasons. I really liked the cliff on one side. Uh, cliff going up one side and there's a cliff going down the other side. So there's only two avenues of attack if you were going to be attacked here. And also, the ground underneath it is very flat, which I wanted because I wanted to plant a garden and, and build things underneath it. And a lot of them are built on hills. Like Most of the ones I found were built on hills. So every once in a while you find one that's pretty flat underneath. So, But I liked this one because it was grassy. Anyway, aesthetics and all that. Now, this... Um, the only thing I don't like about... <laughs> don't like about this spot is that it is a spawn point like literally right here is a spawn point but as far as spawn points go it's not a bad one only non-hostile creatures spawn here well excluding rad stags rad stags do spawn here they're generally not hostile if you leave them alone aside from those ones with the fangs you know but uh, I have been attacked like when I load in uh, or from, from fast traveling or whatever um, I was attacked by a rad stag as soon as I loaded in before I could move. But, you know, rad stags aren't that big of a deal. Now, um, yeah, I've gotten, you know, you just saw a fox earlier there. Um, I've gotten rabbits, chickens, fireflies, possums. That's pretty much all I've seen spawn here. So it's a pretty safe location as far as, you know, enemies go. So anyways, enough of that. Um, so here's my yard. I wanted to have a nice little yard where I could grow crops. And obviously I could fit a lot more crops in here than I have. I just, um, didn't have enough to plant. So anyway, um, and I have, uh, well, this is my little power shed. I've got my power generator in here. Um, I don't really need a fusion generator because I don't have anything power here except lights at the moment I could probably put some like and I might later too put some um, you know water pumps right there or water uh, purifiers rather right there and so that's why I put a fusion generator in there and also because they're quiet and they don't make smoke <laughs> and so out here I have sort of my little porch sort of my lower porch I guess you could say um, I have all the crafting work benches out here for visitors to use and for me to use quickly if I'm just dropping something off real quick I can um, just run over here and do it without having to go upstairs um, I do have crafting benches up there too but I'd, I'd like to have some that are easily accessible for visitors and I do have actually all of them out here I have the uh, chemistry one there and I have the cooking one over there all right so let's go um, inside I also have oil lamps lit lit down here uh, I didn't want to bother stringing wires around outside here for light so I just put these oil lamps I do have power of course upstairs now I didn't build on this whole thing on purpose um, if you build this or in any power line tower, uh, you can, of course, use the entire area. Um, but I didn't, um, because I don't like huge, open, useless rooms. I like to condense my builds so that, because we don't have enough clutter 
you know, in this game. And so the smaller your house, the more cluttered it will appear. If you got these giant open rooms, it's going to look empty no matter how much stuff you put in there because your build budget won't allow you to fill it up. You know what I mean? So that's why I didn't want to. I originally was going to build over the entire thing, but when I laid out all the floors, I was like, oh my gosh, this is humongous. What am I going to put in here? <laughs> So that's why. And also, there were actually two reasons. I, I wanted this open because I was going to plant crops down here. And I know in this game, it doesn't really matter where you put your crops. You can put them in a underground bunker and they would still grow. But in real life, you know, and I like to be realistic as much as possible in a game. In real life, if you plant a plant underneath a roof, it's gonna you know it's not gonna have access to enough light and it might be kind of sickly so I just made it open also for that reason just to allow light in because I actually did cover up this entire thing I did put floors through here uh, when I was first starting to build I filled this in with floors and it did make it feel a little darker under here it just wasn't as inviting so both those reasons is why I kept that open but if you build a build this you can fill it in if you want to. You can build covering up the entire thing. You know, it's totally your, your choice. Anyway, I have... I also did want to have a little upper deck area. So that's all another reason why I didn't build over the whole thing. And the view, you can see Morgantown pretty good from here. Um, the dam is down there. So it's got a pretty nice view. Yeah. I like views. <laughs> now the um, the floors lined up just perfectly uh, with this first beams that are going across. These are the first ones. And that makes it so that you have a natural barrier right here. You don't have to put railings or anything because... <sighs> Why? Why? What does this happen? Every time I record a build video, literally every time. <sighs> <laughs> oh my gosh fine I'll check to see where it's at don't want to get hit by something it's almost predictable isn't it okay anyways let's go inside I left my door open attention citizens nuclear strike imminent so please exit the area at your earliest convenience yes yes thank you for your cooperation <laughs> sorry about that guys seriously okay now I like this, I, I, I have my typical little kitchen um, where I use the, the cooking stove and the chemistry station together because they kind of match each other. And so the, I use the chemistry station as a countertop and it has a sink. So it kind of makes it look kind of like a kitchen. And I either use a ice machine or a milk machine for my fridge. Um, in this case, I had to use an ice machine because of the roof was too too low for a milk machine. And the reason the roof is really low right there is because of building restrictions on this power pylon. And I will show you that after the tour is over. Um, so I also have my little you know eating area, and I have a little desk. And here's the living area. And I got, uh, yeah, I got the spinning wheel. It is completely useless, obviously, but it's something. It's something to fill a spot. And, you know, like I said before, I don't like big empty spaces. I like my builds to be as cluttered as possible so that they look lived in. So, a spinning wheel, why not? <laughs> and then over here I have um, some more crafting benches because even though I have them all downstairs, when I'm spending a lot of time in a menu, like crafting, modifying, scrapping, stuff like that, I like to be in a protected sp space. I don't like enemies rushing up on me while I'm in a menu for a long time, you know what I mean? I want to feel safe, like I can relax while I'm in my menu, so I do like to put some crafting workbenches inside my house, preferably on an upper floor as well, just for that purpose. But if I'm just doing a quick drop off or quick repairing of things, I'll, I'll, I'll use the one that's down there. Anyway, so upstairs I've got kind of a two room setup with a little thing in the middle here. I have um, a 
place to play music. I, I like to have these little little bands <laughs> in my houses just to, to fill up space, you know what I mean? And here is my guest quarters area sort of thing. I got a bunk bed for guests to stay in, my friends if they come over, you know, and a little desk. And this is the new uh, Deathclaw statuette that you can get from the Atom Shop. It just came out. Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I, I would prefer if it was smaller because it's huge on a desk, um, but it feels a little bit too small to put on a floor, you know what I mean? So, like, you wouldn't be able to put it on a shelf. So. <laughs> and you know what else? I think that this thing replaced the Vault Boy statuette because I had that and I used to use it in my builds all the time and I went to find it for this build and it was gone. And this one is there instead. After I purchased this one, my Vault Boy statuette is missing. Does anyone else notice that? If you own, if you have both of them, did one of them go away? Did the, did the Vault Boy statuette leave? Because it, uh, I couldn't find it anywhere in my menu. And I'm disappointed because I think I would rather have that one if I was going to choose between them, you know, because the Vault Boy statuette is, even, is small and you can put it on a shelf or anywhere. Anyways, enough rambling about that. But anyway, I am curious to know if you guys are missing yours, if you have it. Um, this is like my sleeping area over here. So yeah, just a simple. And I, I want to have, I have a lot of windows. I, I, I think you noticed that there are pretty much windows around this entire thing. Every single wall, pretty much, every single full-sized wall is a window because I wanted the open air feel and um, I wanted to see the view even though these windows are a little high for that I kind of would have I mean I, I suppose I could have used the wood uh, pieces to get the bigger windows but I wanted to use the metal set because I hadn't used it yet in a build and it kind of matches the aesthetic with 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 the metal tower and stuff so yeah anyways you guys that is uh the build and uh now i will show you how to build it all right so when you first arrive it will be filled with grasses and stuff like that but the new feature um that they added in the latest update makes it so that you actually can bulldoze grass now which is really cool, I think. So like if you build something right in the grass, it will bulldoze the grass away. See? Which I think is just awesome because there's a lot of grass in this game and it just gets in the way, you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially if you're like putting down a tent or something and the grass just comes up through the floor and yeah. Anyway, so to start off, we have to line up this perfectly. Um, the the floor is going to be right at this first cross beam level because that's just how high these um these things go like you can't set them way up high like this i suppose you could maybe stack them if you wanted to get up higher but i didn't really care about how high i went i just wanted to be up there so what we're going to do is come here Put your um, the floor out as far as it can go, and then we have to line it up so that it's straight because otherwise the floors will go crooked um, up there. It has to be straight so it goes along parallel with the cross beam. And also, I want to get the floor right in the corner, the upper floor, when we get up there. So what I'm going to do is push it out as far as you can and raise it up as, until you can line it up with this cross beam. So you can make sure that it's uh, straight. Like about like that. Then pull it towards you just a little bit and then down without moving your direction the way you're looking or anything. Now, we probably need to push it to the left just a little bit. 
I'm, I'm thinking probably like a character's a character player's width from that from that foundation that's supporting the the tower this might be good you might have to redo it you might have to if it's not exactly where it's supposed to be so to test you just get a stair and put it on there and another one and then get a uh, an upper floor put that up at the top there and then go up and check now we do want it to stick through just a little bit just so that it looks like it's built into the thing instead of um, you know just floating there now you're also going to want to test um, whether or not these line up um, so whether or not you got it straight you know so go along and add more floors and if they don't start going away from the edge here or start going into the edge farther than it, than they than they should if it looks like you can line up this line if you put if you if you orient the the boards this direction so that the middle line is parallel with this beam you can look and see it looks pretty straight to me so then you can continue building adding uh, the rest of the floors but if you got it so that it's not straight you probably should redo it just because it's uh, you test it this direction as well adding adding them all along here and they should be parallel with this side as well and it, it looks pretty good it, it's pretty good so <laughs> first try yay I'm so happy <laughs> anyways so then we're going to put in some more floors going this direction and of course I like to make all of my floors face the same way which they don't always want to do because they are very finicky <laughs> they want to snap everywhere except where I want them to snap there we go and now of course remember that I left my um, this area open and you guys don't have to if you don't want to so it's all a matter of personal preference there and that is the floor pretty much all right then it's pretty easy to uh, just you know stick the walls in and you basically just build it like any house that you would be uh, building on the ground um, uh, let's get the door up here I, I, of course, am using the metal pieces. You guys can use whichever pieces you want. I liked the metal because I felt like it fit with the build. Now, they will snap in and clip in with these in most instances. There are going to be, um, in some instances, where they will not snap. And <laughs> you gotta kind of work around those. I will show you what those instances are. Um, here. We'll be putting a, a tall wall there and a tall wall here. We are going to be putting a short wall there and I'll do that after I get all these in. And we're going to be putting a short wall, short walls on that end as well. So I'm saving those for last because the short walls are way down here. <laughs> short walls in here and the reason I'm putting short walls here is because a tall wall um, well tall walls will snap in there but the roof won't so I'll show you that in just a minute and then we're also going to put a short wall here for the same reason that a roof 
won't snap in. So we'll go to roofs and we'll go down to the bottom, get the slanted roof. The slanted roof will snap in here, but if you put a tall wall there, it won't snap in up there because it will be clipping in with this beam. And for some reason that beam doesn't like things colliding with it. Like ugh, all the other beams don't care, but this one does. So there you go. And uh, it will snap in right here though. So that, I mean, up here. So I don't, I don't get it, but anyways, I, I didn't want short walls all the way across. It was just my own personal preference. So I wanted tall walls as well, a tall roof, tall walls, because I wanted windows. And if, if, if there was a short wall all the way across, there would be no windows on this side of the house. And I, I really wanted the open feel. Now I couldn't help it on this side because for some reason, um, I couldn't snap a tall uh, a ceiling up on top of a tall wall on either side over here. So, but <clears throat> maybe it will work for you guys. Who knows? Sometimes um, it will work one time and not another. So you guys can just fiddle with it and see what works best for you. We'll put in the um, all of these things. And, um, also right here, I'm putting in one of these, I think, I think it was one of these, fits in right here. And, uh, no, it wasn't one of these. Sorry, I'm starting to forget how I built this. Maybe it was it was a bunch of yeah. That's what it, was. it was one of those and one of these. There. So the eve, the one with the eve on it. Get the right one. Come on. There. The one with the eve on it for the top, and then the one without the eve on it for the bottom. There. Like so. Okay. And then um, we're going to put stairs to go up. And the stairs are going to be here. I put them here. Just because it worked the best. For what I wanted to do. And put one of these up. And put the upper, upper floors. Come on. There. And oh, we do want to put another floor in this hole as well. Although I am going to be filling that up. No, no, no. Actually, I didn't put another floor in here. Just because I, uh, I, I was, I wanted it to be sort of vaulted, I guess. That's what I was doing. Sorry, I'm just having a hard time remembering where I'm placing certain things. What am I doing? Oh. Oh, that's uh, off-center. Okay. They snap off-center from each other sometimes. Oh, of course it's not going to go in. What? It went in the first time, but not this time. For some reason. Well, it should go in right there, you guys. <sighs> but it's not. Well, that's gonna complicate matters. And it's like to come in over here. Ah! You know, sometimes I hate this game. <laughs> I mean, I like this game, but this build system is so frustrating, as you can see. <laughs> um, We're gonna put a short wall here, and I'm also putting short walls across these. Um, one's not gonna snap in right here, is it? Nope. Well then. Okay. So we're gonna have walls, the uh, big wall, uh, tall walls up here. We're gonna have one right here, and one right here, and one right here. And then, um, unfortunately, 
well here first before <clears throat> before I do that. Open a short wall here. And one right here. Now um for s okay, I have to put the roof on in order to show you what I mean here. Okay, so we're going to put um no wait, not roof yet. We need to put the uh, slanted walls right there in order to put the roof on. So the roof will snap in there. However, at least when I was doing this originally in my testing and stuff, normally you can snap a short wall here, but I couldn't get a short wall to snap in right here, no matter what I did. It just won't go. It, it must be snapped to an existing piece. It's like, well, then do it already. <laughs> but it won't. Now, a, a tall wall would snap here. So, go figure. I don't know. <laughs> and so it kind of... Oops. It kind of looked funny outside that a tall wall was sticking up like that, but... This is the only way I could put a wall in right there. So I just dealt with it. And and you really can't. I really like just in my normal play th playing or, and, you know, using this build, I didn't notice it out of the corner of my eye or anything. So this is going to be a problem, though. Not being able to put the floor in for the, for the finished build. It's not... Yeah. Um... I need to put a short wall right here, though. Um, I might just leave it unfinished uh, for this particular build, just so that I can show you guys how it goes in. So, if you're building along, a wall sh a floor should snap here, and a floor should snap here. Because the first time I built this, I had no trouble getting those in. And it could just be my alignment is off this time. And so if, you know, that happens, obviously you would have to take it down and start over. Realign your first floor, your first upper floor piece, by realigning the, the first foundation that you're putting on the ground. And, you know, when I was originally building this, I did have to realign my bottom foundation multiple times until I figured out how to get it so it was perfect. And it's just a matter of trial and error, and I'm kind of upset that it won't go in. But, you know, what can you do? I, it won't go in. And in order for it to go in, I would probably have to take this entire thing down. But I don't really want to do it right now for this video because I don't have time. So... We'll just keep building it as if I did put floors in there, and you guys know that there are supposed to be floors there. And there are supposed to be... Um, there is also supposed to be a short wall in this spot as well. Okay. So there... Oh, no wait, not there. <laughs> now I've put in the flat roofs on the top because they were the actual only ones that would snap in. Um, the... this one... Um, this triangle uh, peaked roof would not snap in right there, so flat roof on the top. And there we go, more or less. <laughs> um, you know, you could always just make it so that you have it open if you don't want to redo your entire thing. You could just use it like this. You obviously wouldn't be able to put in um, the stuff that I had, like I had the uh, the band here, but you could always put a railing there and just make it a vaulted open ceiling area. Same with here, you wouldn't be able to put in your your guest bedroom <laughs> that's supposed to go there, but you could put the guest bedroom here and just have a little less space upstairs. You know that it's an option if you didn't want to redo the entire thing, which I might just do because. I might not want to redo this either. Anyways, so out here, um, I put railings. Like so. 
Okay, so that's basically the house finished. Now I'm going to show you down here. We will need to make the uh, the patio, the lower patio. So let's go get some floors again. And so put two floors like so, and then take off one of them. Then select this one and push A and RB to lower it. Push the hold down A and push RB to lower it. And yeah, about maybe like right there, I'm thinking. Um, and then put in the other floors down low. Like this. You can probably lower it even more. Yeah, I think I will. Just because that one's not going in. And hopefully it will go in. How, since when is it intersecting with an existing object? Come on. Okay, so... It's not intersecting with an existing object here. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's stupid. When I try to lower it... Lower already. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Well, sometimes you just have to put it in one place before you can stick it in the other place. Okay. Now, then I put um, stairs. The wooden stair. Right there. And right here. Just to make it a little bit tidier. And um, I know you don't really need them. You can walk up onto the foundations without jumping, but even even the really tall ones but it just looks funny so I put stairs and <clears throat> um, then defenses again with railings on all the way around and on this side That is the lower patio, and then you can put your crafting benches in here. And then I did a little, um, I'm gonna lose my light here, but I did a little um, house for the um, there we go. For the generator. Now make sure the back wall right here snaps in first because if you put it too close to the to the to the cliff back here it won't snap in. So make sure you do that one first just to test, make sure you got it in the right spot. And then put in the um, the generator before you put the rest of the walls on. It's just easier that way to do that. <clears throat> And also the power connector to get the generator the power out of here and also have a roof if you don't have the advanced power connectors you can just leave the roof off because because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a connector up there and attach the um, the power to it now if you don't have the advanced power connectors just leave a roof off of this and directly connect it to that conduit. But if you do have the advanced power connectors, go over to this one. It's a tall one with the little power connector on it sticking out the side. And you can stick these through walls and have them, um, you can still place them. And then go a little farther. I think it's in the same category. Yeah, get this one. It's got the single uh, conduit on it and then you can attach that thusly and then that'll be sticking out the side. And once you have that all done, um, put back, put in the rest of your walls and a door.
like so, and then you can put a roof on it. And I put these roofs, um, they, because I like to see my roof. Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. It is a little finicky getting these up here, but they will go on if you just get in the right position there. Then you can move this conduit so that it's directly above uh, the one below, and then you can attach them. Come on. Okay. Sometimes I can't get the right angle here. There it goes. Okay, like that. And then, um, get the regular ones. And we're gonna put one over here in this corner. Uh, whoops, wrong button there. We're gonna put one over here in this corner. Approximately, it doesn't have to be exactly in the corner, just sort of right here. And then we're going to put one about right here as well. And then wire those up. Sorry, I lost my daylight. I hope you guys can see this okay. I swear these days aren't long enough for me to do an entire video. <laughs> Anyways, that is all the extent of the wiring that you need and that will power up the entire house upstairs and downstairs and all of the rooms. And it's simple, it's out of the way. And it's it's pretty nice. Um, don't forget to put doors on the things. So I used, for this build, I used uh, this door for... Nothing is selected? What are you talking about? Is that one of those new... new um, yeah, I heard that that's a new glitch from the last update. That you're trying to place something and it'll say nothing is selected, which is just stupid because obviously something's selected. I put that door up here as well on the house. Let's see if it works. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, I heard that um, closing and opening that will fix it. Okay, so cool. It works. If you close your menu and then open it again, it should fix the problem if you have that happen to you and it seems to be working now okay there you go all right and that is the build basically um you'll, you'll be done with it um obviously you can put fences around it which i did um starting up here sort of i started kind of right here I guess and then um, make sure you have it angled so that it'll line up with the other one because you want your fences to go straight across to the other one and then um, let me move this one over just a little bit come on move okay it doesn't want to move and then, um, I still need to move it over a little bit. I, I, I didn't want to start with the one up here because then it would be floating. So I'm starting with the one down here so that I can snap it in better. It's not wanting to do it. These fences are one of the finickiest things. There. There it goes. Okay. Then I I put... I think I put a gate. The gate right here in mine. Um, the gate is the finickiest part of the entire fence. And usually won't be placed. So I always turn it to face the opposite direction from the fence. And then you can just line it up with the fence. And still, sometimes it's usually floating. So you just kind of have to just sort of tweak it a little bit, its angle slightly, and it, and it should eventually go in. But as you can see, it is slightly off-angled from the rest of them, 
just because it wouldn't place exactly lined up. But it's so subtle that you don't really notice it most of the time. Anyways. And then you can you can either snap your fences to that, or if a fence won't go in, like it won't um, snap to um, the other fence, or if it makes it so that it's floating if it snaps. Um, like see for instance right here, it won't go in because it's intersecting with the foundation of the tower. Just turn the fence around and line it up manually, and it will go in usually. Now, I know it makes it so that the fences are facing different directions, but you know what? I don't really care, because at first glance you can't even really tell. And so it's fine. And always come um, and look down the fence line to see if, you're got, if you have it crooked or not. So, you know, that's just the basics on how to put the fencing in. Um... I placed my camp in kind of the wrong spot for this, but I think I can get it in. Though it's going slightly outside the build zone. You can align your build zone a little bit better than this. It'll go in better. Like this. And then make sure that you... Um, are angling the right direction so that you're going down and you're not going to hit the opposite foundation in the wrong spot. And along here, I pretty much just snapped these in. They they um they cooperated pretty good along this way. Now there are some blackberry bushes right here in the corner and they will bulldoze away if you build a fence here, so keep that in mind. Um Maybe not all of them will. In my original build they did, but it looks like they're not gonna this time. Um, oh, I know why. I know why they did, because I put the fence going this direction. So it made the berries bulldoze away, but you know, you can do whatever you want with your berries. <laughs> so I just put fences like this up to this thing because I didn't need all of that land over there. Anyways, you guys, that is basically the build. And anyway, what do you think? I'm I'm sorry that, that those floor pieces up there didn't work out. I'm going to have to fiddle with that. Or maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. Because it actually isn't too bad if you, you know, meant to have it do... <laughs> meant to build it that way. Um, you could just say that you meant to do it that way. Just to have a little bit more open open air inside your house yeah make it a little bit more open have a smaller upstairs um have a bed there for your guests and just have a bed here for you and you can put your um your, you can put your instruments somewhere else maybe in your living room or out here on the patio on the deck you know there's lots of ways that you can improvise and mostly in this game improv improvisation is is key to a successful build. If something doesn't work one way like you hoped, just make it work a different way and you'll end up with a pretty good build regardless. And that is the build, everybody. What do you think? I would love to know what you think down in the comments below. And if you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up. Oh, look at the rain coming. Oh, well, at least my video's over, right? <laughs> Oh, the little fox died. He just dropped dead. Poor thing. Anyways, you guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this video. And if you create a build like this up in a power pylon, I would love to see your screenshots of it. Um, you can go over to my Discord server. Um, the link is in the description for that. And you can post pictures there. I have a thread just for sharing screenshots in. And um, also... You, you know, stay a while, chat. We've got all kinds of fun stuff going on over there. And also you can enter your camp to be featured in one of my videos uh, if you would like to. Uh, just go on over to my Discord server and there's a thread over there called Camp Tours Entries. And if I like your camp, I will uh, 
I might make a video of it. So yeah, go do that. Um, I'm probably going to have another one coming out hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. I, yeah, that's the plan anyway. If not next week, then probably the week after that. But anyways, you guys, <laughs> that is the end of this video. So subscribe if you haven't already for a whole bunch more Fallout 76 build videos and I also have a lot of Fallout 4 build stuff too if you're in, if interested in that if you haven't seen any of that yet and I have all kinds of let's plays as well so go check it out and um, if you would like to support my channel you can do that by following the links in the description to my Patreon and coffee pages. Anyways you guys uh, that's it for today. I'll see you next time. And until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.